how old is Next Step? And just tell me a little bit about how it's grown since the mid 90s when it started. Well, Next Step now, we're uh, 20 years old. So uh, this is our 20th year in business. Uh, we started as a as a true entrepreneurial story with just one person and uh, growing a business and uh, that was in uh, 1997 and now today uh, we've grown to be quite an organization we're really proud okay you guys have amazing facilities you have really great people so you've really cultivated this culture what i call culture you know and you know what culture how would you say starting as a one-man shop to this, what, what have been some of your ways of thinking or North, North Stars or ideas that help now get to where we are? Because obviously it came from vision you had and beliefs you had about what you wanted this company to be like. Well, I think, um, you know, when you start a business and, and you have a business like we have today, there's there's kind of a, a, a large range of uh, different, there's, there's quite a difference between a startup and a company like we are today. So <clears throat> when, uh, when we were a startup or when we were first hiring employees, we had to come up with a way to attract and keep some employees without having any financial ability to provide a lot of benefits or um, those kind of things. So. One of the things that struck us, or, or that I thought about, was that um, you know we always wanted to have fun at work, and we always wanted to have this atmosphere where um, it was a lot of fun, and that became a theme that kind of drove what we were doing. And even though we got to a point as an organization that, that we could provide benefits and we could do things that. Um, that you would traditionally see in a larger organization, we still stuck with that ability to have fun and, and uh, have a great work environment. That's pretty amazing. What are some ways, because I love this idea, because some HR people watch this, CEOs watch this, what are ways that you filtered on the hiring process? Because you know, being able to attract people and kind of keep that culture, not have people be a downer on it, did, did, how did you think about that? How did you incorporate that into your hiring team in recruiting to kind of maintain that? Did you have any thoughtfulness about that? Well, I, I think one of the things we realized early on was that um, a company is going to have a culture whether you focus on that culture or not. And <clears throat> we certainly had a culture before we knew we had a culture. And... Um, <laughs> But along the way, the importance of managing that culture and making sure that it became and stayed the way that we wanted it to stay uh, became a priority of ours. So, you know, the, one of the beautiful things about working on a culture and having a great culture is that the culture does a lot of work for you in the way that you select employees and the kind of people that come into the organization and, and become part of the team. So you might not have as much pressure on you to, in the hiring process, to make sure that you've vetted an employee in all the ways that you might need to vet one. Or, or, or it might be better to say that <clears throat> Typically, when an employee comes into the organization, they fit into the culture. And there's some intangible process that happens or something that happens along the interview um, process of, of hiring an employee that they figure out whether they want to be part of your organization and fit into your culture. And the people that are doing the interview can tell rather quickly whether or not that person's going to fit in the culture and it becomes a driving uh, force in the way that the interview process goes. So if you and obviously you've done it really well because it just seems to be more healthy more healthy you're continuing to grow and it just seems to get healthier and so however you're doing that is a really seems exceptional. What have you defined the values that are driving your culture and when you Describe your culture. What are what are some key phrases that people will say? This is the culture of Next Step. You know, you know, it's not necessarily the mission, but values usually play into that and all of that. Have, have you gone through that process of 
narrowing in on those and then having other people hear some phrases or words that capture your culture well? Yeah, I think um, in the beginning, you know, having a culture and managing a culture can be as simple as um, making sure you want to have a fun place to work. <laughs> and <clears throat> as a company grows or as time goes on, uh, managing a culture might be to formalize that. And, uh, and I think that's an important aspect uh, to bring up because a lot of smaller businesses hear about making a culture or setting a culture or managing a culture. And they might think it's critical that they go through all of these processes that today at Next Step we do. And the, and the point I would want to get across is that as a smaller organization, you don't need to do that. You just need to make sure you have an idea of, of how you want your work environment to be and encourage that to happen. Now for us as we've grown, yes, we've put in value statements and we put, we have a why statement, right? And the why statement is really big here at Next Step and we start every meeting with it and we end every meeting with it. Oh, wow. and. It's something that's very important to us and drives what we do. And it's elevating the employment experience and enriching people's lives. <clears throat> and our associates and everybody that works here takes that seriously, whether that is for themselves and for their coworkers, but most importantly for our clients and our clients' employees as we service them and try to make their experience being an employee and working in the workforce better and being a client of Next Step Better. Very cool. Okay, so I'll wrap up with this. For, with your people, and how you just referenced that the, they do think of that with their colleagues, the why statement, what are ways you found to be effective to keep employees engaged? And it's a conversation, Gallup always does polls and all that business, employee engagement. Um, and again, my interaction with a lot of your team, they're highly engaged here and bring their heart to work. And um, it's just very admirable, the consistency of people who are so bought into Next Step. And so I just wondered if you, how you think of employee engagement, things you do, I'm gonna ask some of the employees, how, how do you stay engaged, what engages you? I don't know, what, have you done anything intentional or within your culture that is like, this helps people um, bring their best to work every day. Have you been intentional about that? Yeah, I think I think it's a uh, uh, something that we work on and something that we think about. We we have not officially, but we have people that that are culture champions, and we uh, we try to put those people in roles that allow them to influence the culture. Um, we have a rhythm or a process that we go through each month that keeps our culture top of mind. So we have all hands meetings, for instance, once a month where we go over the financial performance of the organization and any upcoming events <clears throat> that we may have in the next month or so. So people always know how we're performing and what we're doing. We have quest meetings where we uh, talk about and recognize our employees and their anniversaries with Next Step and how long they've been here and each employee comes up their supervisor talks about them, the contributions they're making to the organization. We talk about their family and, and what's important to them. So they know that we know about them and we care about them, but also their coworkers are able to learn more about them um, as a person and not just a, someone that they work with. So those things happen on a monthly basis and they all feed into our culture. We also have a monthly meeting for client services, or and it's become everybody in the organization goes to that meeting. And they talk about things like Purple Cow and how do we stand out as far as customer service and make an impact on our clients. And being in this part of the country and hiring a bunch of people here in the Midwest, <clears throat> a lot of things that that stands out about our employees is that they're friendly and, and on the phone, they that smile that they have when they answer the phone shows through. So it's a deliberate effort and it, and it tends to work out over time. Very cool. 
Well, I think that uh, concludes this little interview. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard right here wisdom, insight, and great perspectives on employee engagement, creating a culture, and keeping a culture. And so I look forward to hearing your comments.